What is going on everybody? So do GPHC and um, I've made it to the Lake Elsinore game here and I'm doing something that I've never done. I've shown up to a game late. Um, I don't have a ticket or nothing. And I think because I showed up late, uh, I think it's like the top of the third, I got free parking. So that was kind of nice. Saved my money on the free parking and everything. So you don't have to pay for that. Now I'm gonna go in, see if I just get a general admission ticket something like that uh lake elsinore storm is playing the ranch of cookamonga quakes which is the rookie ball team or should say the a team for the dodgers and of course the lake elsinore storm are the padres a team here so we're gonna go up here and uh today i'm gonna see if i can maybe try to get a foul ball uh, if I remember right, you can't sit in. There's no bleachers for the outfield. It's all sideline stuff. So you have a good chance of getting foul ball. And that's what I'm going to try. So we got the Lake Elsinore Stadium right over there. So with that, I'm going to go over here, check the uh, ticket window, and get a general mission ticket. And then we're going to go in. Um, I've done videos on Lake Elsinore Storm before. So if you haven't seen those, go check them out. And then come back and watch this video. I'll see you in a short minute. Bye. All right, so we made it into the stadium. I got a general admission ticket, fourteen seventy-five. I'm gonna actually uh, see if I can go over here to the lawn area, which is supposed to be a pretty good area uh, for trying to get baseballs. I would have to say ticket prices for general admission area were a little bit expensive uh, because they were fourteen seventy-five for the ticket. I would have to say that's a little pricey. But it is what it is. So let's go over here. It looks like the Quakes are batting right now. And yeah, we're gonna try to see if we can get a ball here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go over here on the grassy berm over here. Uh, I've seen some good stuff. Oh, oh, come my way. No, it's gonna go on the roof. Darn it. I gotta get my uh, mitt on too here in just a second. So let's get it. So we got Luis Rodriguez batting. You have a runner almost getting caught off and they're gonna call him safe at third base as there's a pickoff play. Not sure if you can see it that well, but a uh, catcher through. I dart down to third base, try to pick off the runner down over there. I'm not sure, honestly, who's pitching here. I just know Luis Rodriguez is batting, and I don't know about any prospects or anything. Didn't do any research. I just wanted to come to the game and try to enjoy it. Uh, I'm over here on these grassy berm right here where uh, I'm going to try to get a baseball. Oh, oh, that was a strike. And uh, looks, yeah, he called strike three. Strike three, and so Luis Rodriguez struck out. And let's see who else is coming up next. I can't really see the board. Rain Dancon, yeah, R A Y N E, I believe that's what they said. So let's see if uh, we can get a ball from Rain Dancon. Dancon, if I'm saying it right, we got looks like number 32 pitching for the st storm here. That was a strike call right there. So I'm gonna hang out right here and uh, check it out, see if I can get a foul ball. Foul ball, foul ball there off the uh, bat there, went to the backstop. Um, also, I'm going to go check out the store. They had a little bit of sale, 30% off uh, the uh, championship gear from Lake, when Lake Elsinore won the championship. I'm guessing it was last year because uh, on Friday, I believe it was, they were doing a ring championship replica giveaway day, which would have been really cool to get off the back window. And yes, I think somebody caught it. Yeah, the guy over there in the blue caught it on a ricochet. So I guess looks like he did a good job. Everybody's cheering for him. So good job to that dude. I don't know if this was a Savannah Banana game, if that'd be an out, because that was technically a ricochet because Savannah Banana has some uh, cool rules. Oh, we got a strike three. And yes, yeah, strike three for Rancho Cucamonga from the Storm. Okay, so we're back in the area here. It looks like for the Storm, it's uh, Chase Valentin uh, batting. It looks like for uh, the Quakes, it's number 31 pitching. Chase Valentin fouled off a ball to the back. We have another ricochet. And there you go in the stands over there. So oh, I'm trying to figure out what's a good spot. I mean, there's no one here. That's a nice part. I'm gonna stand right here at the upper spot. Oh, he struck out. Chase Valentin struck out there. I'm trying to figure out who's pitching. I can't really tell. Let's walk up here closer to the fence. See, thanks to this nice net and everything, uh, can't really go up to the walkway no more. But now we have Victor Duarte uh, batting, and I still don't know who's pitching. So, got a pop fly, another foul ball down the line. It's fair. Runner rounding first, going to second base, and they're playing with the two umpire crew. So, the uh, home plate umpire ran over to the third base to cover it. So, kind of looks like the third, first base umpire covers first and second. 
on a two-man crew over here and the home plate goes to uh, third instead of uh, like in my situation where if I was doing the basis I'd actually take the runner around all the way to third over here the uh, home plate umpire covers up the uh, home plate line as long as there's no potential attempt at the runner coming home to score now if there was he would obviously retreat we have a foul ball and a button attempt to the back screen there and uh there we go here all right let's get let's get ready i got a feeling i got a feeling okay we got weren't they batting maybe a little competition we got two guys Ooh, check swing but he did not actually go so obviously that was a ball and it was out of the uh, strike zone as well I'm surprised they don't use a three-man crew over here, uh, at least in uh, A ball, but I guess it's just a two-man crew. And when I was Salt Lake City, it was a three-man crew. There you go, ball to the shortstop over to first base. Duarte grounds out, but he moves the runner over to third, and that's a big play there because the Storm is down by one run. That was a big hit there by number 10 of the Storm. Uh, he got a hit through the uh, shortstop 5-5 five -five hole into left field. He was able to score the runner off of third base so actually a really good hit there and uh score is tied one to one so awesome job there uh now it looks like we have number oh i can't see his number from back here but it's uh Z zavala zavala i think it is sorry guys i just can't see from the angle i'm at right now all right so it's uh samuel zavala here uh, batting for the storm i will check here shortly about some uh prospect potentials here maybe to get an autograph uh what did the umpire just do he just kind of Flung his fingers, maybe timeout being called here. Batter gets his uh, one timeout for a bat. I think somebody honestly just got thrown out. Might have been Zavala. Third base coach comes down to talk, and usually the third base coach is the manager. I think Zavala, yeah, Zavala got a quick trigger finger there. I'm not sure why. He might have been arguing about balls and strikes, and the home plate umpire just turned around and threw him out i would say for absolutely no reason the coach is still over there talking and they want to talk about speed up the game man that was terrible let the player you know say a little something at least as long as he's not being defamatory cussing or anything like that coach walks back up to the third base line you should allow the player to say at least a little bit something throw him out like that Bad job there, Blue. Bad job behind the plate having that quick trigger finger. We're not here to watch you. We're here to watch them. Let's get that going. All right, let's turn this thing back around. We are going to get, obviously, a pitch hitter. I'm not sure who, but we'll see. That was Zavala. I have a feeling he might have been a prospect here on the uh, top 30, so I'll check that out. All right, see you in a minute. All right, so I checked it up, and yeah, Zavala, Samuel Zavala is the number fifth prospect for the Padres organization, and... Um, that's too bad because that would actually be a player, obviously for autograph reasons, be a player worth getting. And now there's no chance because the umpire decided to throw him out. All right, so for the Quake, it looks like we got batting uh, Simon or Simone Reed batting here for the Quakes. And he is a left-handed batter. Looks like he is number 11, number 32 for the Storm, is still pitching here. I was trying to get the pitcher's name, uh, but there's just not a lot of time between the innings to try to get the uh, information anymore. I mean, obviously you don't want a lot of time between the innings, but at least have a little bit of time. No, it looks like it's gonna be a walk there for Reed. All right, currently batting is Jose uh, Dupala. He is number 10 prospect here for the Dodgers organization. Looks like the Dodgers have number 10 and number 13. Uh, the Reino was number 13. So got a couple prospects here. Now I am going to see, I mean, I'm looking at this, uh, the netting here. I, I just don't know how you do autographs anymore. In the past, you just would go down to the railing and I, I just don't know. So. If possible, I'll try to get uh, DePaula or I'll try to get Toronto somewhere there uh, in that deal. Oh, ball went down the line. Oh, deep off the back of the wall. Oh, it hit something hard like it hit wood there. And uh, DePaula ends up with a long single. That was very hard hit ball off the right field wall there. So nice hit there uh, for DePaula. Do have a different pitcher uh, pitching right now. The other pitcher pitched about three and one thirds inning and then he got taken out and number 27 is pitching now. All right, so we have another lefty batting. Uh, it looks like he's number eight. He is Larianzo. Lorenzo. It looks something like that. I apologize. L-I-R-A-N-Z-O. Lorenzo. I think that's how you pronounce it here. So 
He is batting against number 27 of the Storm. Then we have DePaula there at first base. He's got a short little lead off there. Paul comes in and it looks like it could have been a strike. Catcher dropped it, but it might have been too far inside. Uh, Height-wise, it looked good. I'm just guessing it was too far inside. Not a lot of foul balls today. Uh, most of them have been uh, fouled back. We have, ooh, a sharp hopper there over the short steps head. DePaula falls going around second. He almost gets picked off there at second base, but he is able to get back there after uh, the turf monster, dirt monster, got him there coming around second base. So. Good job, heads up there by the storm, trying to catch the Paula after his little fall there at second base. Okay, so the last batter, uh, Puerta, Puertes, uh, he ended up getting a double, which scored uh, De Paula there and put Liriano on uh, third base here. And Puertes is standing there on second base. So obviously the Quakes now have the lead here. It is four to one here. Two outs, top of the fourth inning. And uh, the storm just uh, are not being able to get them out ever since they changed pictures here to number 27 27 just has not been able to get them out there are currently two outs now we have uh, Luis Rodriguez batting again and let's see if number 27 here can get out of the inning we do have action here in the bullpen uh, as we have uh, a side armor number eight here warming up so number eight is warming up let me see if I can catch his name real quick okay so now we have another disagreement Ethan Salas, who actually is the number two prospect here for the Padres, the catcher, thought he fouled the ball off his foot down to the uh, first baseline. Nobody apparently saw it. The play continued. The uh, Rancho Cucamonga first baseman played the ball, tagged the base, and they called Ethan Salas out. So Zavala already got ejected earlier in the game, and uh, Ethan Salas was not happy about that. Uh, there is no instant replay that I'm aware of here in minor league baseball. So Ethan Solis got uh, thrown out. All right, so that is Dylan Nedvid here, number eight. Uh, he looks, he's a side armor, so he's getting ready here. It looks like he'll probably come here, come in in the uh, top of the fifth inning. He's about ready to warm up. It is a nice, like, around 80 degrees here. And there you go. Let's uh, see if we can get a different angle here with him warming up. There you go. There's a good view of uh, Dylan Nedvid warming up there. And then you can see the batter in the background. And then there it goes. Dylan Nedvid to start the top of the fifth inning there. So, yeah, it's been a rough inning ever since, uh, rough going here, ever since Zavala got thrown out. So, good luck, Dylan. Go out there, get him, shut him down. Let's go get back into this game. Come on, Storm, right, let's we go. got uh, Rain Doncon here batting against uh, Dylan Nedvid. Side armor here. Doncon did hit a foul ball, but uh, wasn't able to make any kind of play on it, obviously, because it was all the way over there. So. Still here trying. All right, Duncan's not doing nothing right now. Uh, I forget what the count is. It looks like it's three and two. I will say that the board over here in Lake Elsinore is really nice and easy to see here. So we're still trying to get a foul ball. Obviously, Duncan rips it hard through over the center fielder's head. It hits at the base of the wall. He's running over to second base. The center fielder gets the ball in, and Duncan has a stand up double there. And, uh, Oh, man, we really needed uh, Dylan Nedvid to come in here and uh, shut him down one, two, three, and uh, get the storm out of this quickly so they could try to get some runs here on the board. It's still four to one here, uh, top of the fifth inning, and hopefully they can get something going. Now we have uh, Reed batting, Simone Reed, Simon Reed, the catcher here uh, for the Quakes. I will say that pull right there is kind of annoying. That is to help hold up the net. I'm trying to figure out if I want to play up the field here maybe the ball will come rolling down it rolls down fast here uh we do have a left-handed batter reed is batting number uh looks like 51. we do have some more hello nice good job oh good oh nice all right so we're over here just uh waiting trying to see if uh reed does hit a foul ball off here we got a couple more kids around, so all right, here we go. Let's get ready. Let's see here. Right, so not a lot of action so far. You got out? Yep, I got out. All right, not a lot of action so far. Number fifty-one. All right, so not a lot of action so far. We got Reed batting here. Another le the lefty. Uh, let's see if we can get a foul ball. Hasn't been a lot of foul balls today, so haven't had no chance to try to catch anything. Um, been talking to the little guy here for the last uh, inning and a half. So little guy's been keeping me company. We've been trying to get a ball. So we've been trying to get something. So yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, hit the ball down the first base. Sorry, fair ball. Reed is rounding first base. He's going to second base. He looks, he might go to third. He's gonna go to third. He's gonna go to third. He's going to go to third. There's a throw to third. Oh, he got him on the back of the lane. There is a nice relay. I know you didn't see it, but it was an awesome play. Got a new batter here for the uh, Storming of Capathios here. 
batting against number 31 for the Quake. And uh, Capatios is a lefty. Quake are up six runs, two, three. So Storm needs to get some runs here. We are in the bottom of the sixth inning. Uh, there it looks like it was a ball to Capatios. Maybe a little inside, can't really tell. But Capatio, come on, Capatio, we need some uh, left-handed foul ball magic. Right, let's go. Let's watch a little bit of uh, Ethan Salas here, number 12. Oh, he hits it down to the first baseman, who takes it unassisted to put him out there at first base. Ethan Salas, one pitch, one out, unfortunately, here in the bottom of the sixth. Right, we got uh, Devin Ortiz batting here. Oh, first ball swinging, and he hits it through the shortstop's Gets a base hit there, rounding first, number 33, Ortiz. Good job there, Ortiz. Double double batter, I could use a burger. Yeah, maybe uh, Dorshin can get us a double double. That will both go high and you catch it for me. Okay. If, the, if Dorshin hits a high ball and I catch it, I give it to you. Deal? Okay, good deal. All right. Shake my glove. There you go. Good deal. Okay, let's see if uh, Dorshin can uh, hit a high ball here. Oh, he hit a high ball, but it's going to the right fielder. Right over here. Get out of the ball, please. Let's see if we can get the ball here from the outfielder here. Can I have the ball, please? Can I have the ball, please? Can I have the ball? Oh. But we tried. All right, now we got batting. Uh, I think it's Dayton Dooney here uh, for the Quakes, and that pitching is number Why did twenty. Get, get over there. Yeah, his name's Dayton. His name's Dayton. All right, up oh, foul ball, but it's gonna be in the stands, probably on the roof. Nope, short of the roof, and we have a big bounce, and it's gonna go to the fan over there who's holding a ball already, but he made a great catch. Caught it on the bounce. All right, let's see if uh, let's see if uh, we get another chance over here for a ball. Uh oh, we got a new batter here. This is Luis Guerrero. Luis Guerrero is batting. All right, now batting is Jose Izara here. Today the batter that was batting hit a single to the right fielder through the middle, but he rounded the base too far. Caught back off at first base, got thrown out. Couple base running mistakes here by the Quake in today's, today's game, but they're currently leading still six to three. So it's not really costing them too bad at this point uh we'll see if it comes back into play later on hey guys watch the game you gotta watch it just in case the ball gets hit so be ready okay we gotta be ready to see if a ball comes oh he's strike two no we don't want him to hit home run all right here we go number 20 here pitching for the uh lake elsinore storm foul ball uh, oh it's coming but it's gonna be short into the fence stance again right over there falls and the girl gets it uh, that was about two sections too short from over here. The last time I was here, there must have been about 10 balls that came in this direction. So, strike three, get some pine there, me. I said that totally wrong. Kruko would be so disappointed. All right, got Jose DePaula batting again. Another lefty, or I should say a lefty again. Nope, DePaula hits it out to the center fielder, and there is an out. Let's see if we get the ball. Can we have the ball, please? Can we have the ball, please? We're trying to get the left doors. Can we have the ball, please? Can we have the ball, please? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see this. Oh. Oh. Oh, little guy's going to get it. Did you get it? Nice. Little guy got it under the fence. Good job. Uh, runner on first base. He took a walk earlier here uh, in the inning. Lake Elsinore has to get some runs here or there. Haven't been able to really put anything together. All right, Chase Valentin is batting here. Still got a runner on first base. He walked earlier, uh, pitching here for the Quakes. I can't really tell at this time. Uh, number, oh, I'm trying to see, 22 is batting. We're trying to see if Valentin will hit a ball up here so we can make a play. All right, you can see here. This is what I'm recording. I'm recording the batter. And he just struck out. No! Darn it, Valentin. Good job, bud. Good try. All right, so let's see here. So you got Victor Duarte batting now. Uh, number Going against number 22 of the Quake. We're, we're, I'm, now I'm trying. Okay, you want to see again what I'm recording? I'm recording for my YouTube channel. I 
see my sister. You see your sister? Okay. I got a baseball. Toby got me a baseball. Now you all three have a baseball. Nice. Good. Now you all got baseballs to play with. Good job. You didn't need my help, so. Okay, now batting here for the Storm, Tyler Robinson going against number 22. Going against number 22. We're going to bring the camera angle down here so we can kind of see here. Oh, you zoomed it in. Oh, we get a better view of uh, Tyler Robinson to see if he can hit us with a cowboy ball. hat. Yeah. Oh, stole, trying to steal. Where, where the heck is the ball? They threw it into left field there, and the Storm are trying to steal one run on the double steal. They do get one run back. The score is now six to four. Good job, Storm, for getting a run back here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Good job there. Okay, so I just changed locations to see if I have some better luck on this side. I'm on the uh, third base side. Rain Doncon is now batting here for the Quake. And of course, when I leave over in that direction, there's gonna be foul ball sit over there, but that's okay, it's just how it is. Strike three, that was a pretty long uh, delay there by the home play umpire, but as somebody who knows, uh, that's just, you know, you, you try to make all your timing calls the same speed, and uh, so sometimes they might seem like they take a while, but they really don't. Um, Simon Reed is now batting the catcher here for the uh, Quakes, and uh, I'm just, I'm still trying to get a ball. Uh, has not been very good today, so it's not a lot I can do about that other than to uh, keep trying. I will say the little guy that was uh, I was hanging out with for a little bit, uh, he was able to get a ball, and so was his sister. So very good job for them because uh, they're cute little guys. Uh, apparently they're twins, so, so good job on those guys for getting the ball. Um, I just had to switch uh, positions just to see if I have some better luck. And Reed just hit the ball there through the gapper there, getting almost past the right fielder he was able to cut it off it is still going to be a close play out oh man he doesn't catch the ball and the quake score another run oh man goes over there the catcher wants to double check to make sure he tagged the play and home plate umpire said he did so another run will score it is eight to four dayton dooney is now batting here for the quake all right let's see if uh dayton dooney uh can get anything going see man no luck with foul balls. Uh, ever since I uh, started this crusade to get a uh, ball, I, I've been successful, I think, uh, one time. Uh, Stockton, um, the player gave me the home run ball, um, and I think that was it. I don't know. So far, though, not even a chance. Well, All right, here we go. See if uh, Dooney can get something going. You got a runner on second base. Uh, was that Reed, I think? I'll double check it here in just a second now that I can kind of see the scoreboard. Yeah, that was uh, Reed who got that double. He's standing on second base. All right, so now I moved again because I wanted to uh, get a picture taken with the uh, Storm mascot because I always like trying to get a picture with the mascot. So uh, here's the uh, picture with the mascot right up here. Look, look in the corner here. Like should be about right there or something. Sorry about that. And uh, so I decided to come and sit here behind home plate and hopefully I can try to catch a ball. Uh, I'm not getting, not getting my hopes up. We're in the bottom of the eighth inning. Obviously this it looks like, I say obviously lightly, because uh, the storm will be batting in the bottom of the ninth. They're down eight. Trying to get a ball. It's been uh, slow moving in the sense of uh, trying to get a ball. Haven't really had any real opportunities. I guess the best one was the fielder throwing it and it hit uh, before the net and then the other fielder threw it over but the kids got it, which is fine, perfect fine, but nothing like hit in the air uh, to me, which is what I'm trying to do, or at least thrown to me so I can try to catch it. <sighs> Anyways, number 26, Griffin hits it deep, deep, and oh, off the top of the wall, Griffin hits, going to second. We got a runner coming around here to score. Oh, big run there for Lake Elsinore to make it eight to five, make the game a little bit closer. All right, so there's been a couple foul balls in the area. Nothing that I can make a play on. Oh, strike three there. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. Very upset. Storm, previous batter, I had hit a triple to get a couple runs in. Now it's eight to seven. Uh, now we got Victor Duarte now batting here. So let's see if uh, Storm can get that tying runner in there from third base with two outs. That would be huge in here in the bottom of the eighth inning so still holding out for a foul ball still holding out that the storm can tie it up and possibly go ahead 
It was a very hot and humid day in the 90s. I want to say it's about 94 degrees, but it is very cloudy and it's very humid. So unfortunately, not really anything coming my way to make it an attempt at, um, but it's just the way it is. Uh, he's gonna say he went. Oh, no, nope, he didn't go. Okay, good, because I didn't think he went, but whatever. I don't make the call. And calling call a check swing from the C position over there where the umpire is on the field. That's what they call the C position. It is hard to kind of call a check swing from uh, that position. Uh, it does get called, but it is a tough call. That looked like a strike there. So we got three balls, one strike there on uh, Duarte. And uh, we got some rally caps on here as we're trying to get the storm back in the game. We have ball four. That's potential go ahead run there. Victor Duarte takes the walk and Tyler Robertson comes All right, up. Here we go, pitch number two here, Tyler Robertson. Strike two. Oh man, he's down quick 0-2. See if he uses his timeout, which he should. He stepped out of batter's box using his timeout there. Uh, he got back in the batter's box pretty quickly. I don't see the umpires making the uh, you know timer and nothing calls here, so. There he ball, third base, man. Oh, he bobbled the ball, bobbled the ball. And he beats it out, he beat it out. Yes, and he over, the ball went down the line. Run around in third base. He's trying to score, and he's safe, he's safe. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Everybody, the nice little just crowd in attendance is going crazy. That was freaking awesome! The Storm, after trailing most of the game, finally have the lead here in the bottom of the eighth inning when we have, it looks like, a Nick Bolt up. And because of those multiple errors in the throw to home, Robertson went all the way to third base. That was freaking awesome here. And let's see if uh, the Storm can get one insurance run. It'd be really nice. We have a quick 2 no count here. Nick Bolt, let's go, let's go, let's go, Nick. Come on, Bolt. Here we go. Oh, foul ball down the line there. And... All right. There we go. Another ball down the, uh, no, over towards the dugout. Guy in the dugout plays it, throws it to a teammate here. All right. We got one little wish. Come on. Two wishes. Ball, 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 ball. Come on. Let me see if I can get a ball here. Right here. Ball in the mitt. Ball in the mitt. Come on, man. Let's go. Ball in the mitt. Time out. Two, two count here on Volt. Let's go, Volt. Let's go, Volt. Let's go, Volt. Let's go, Volt. Two, two count. Come on, Volt. Right here, right here. Come on. Oh, to the shortstop. This one looks like a can of corn. Yep, and he is out at first base. Good job, Star! Yeah! All right, now batting is Jose Izara here on the top of the ninth inning. Strike right there. One, one count. And, uh, all right, so Storm just got to get three outs here. All right, after that dramatic top, bottom of the eighth inning, that was freaking awesome. Jose flies it up to the right fielder, and he grabs it. First out right there, Jose Zara flies out to the right fielder. All right, we have Jose DePaula up now. Uh, he is number, what I say, 10 prospect for the Dodgers here. And he's hit the ball hard, hasn't much for, for today's game. All right, down 0-2 here to, for DePaula. And no slider. No, he doesn't take that one, doesn't swing at that one. Good choice there. One and two count now. We got strikeout batter. They're saying Carlos Jr. strikeout batter of the game, I guess. I don't know, Jose DePaula, that's what they're saying. Uh, I just want to strike out because I want the Storm to win, obviously. And he doesn't swing at that one. Looked like a fastball there from where I'm sitting. Plus, it was a 92 miles per hour. Definitely fastball. 2-2 two -two count here. Let's see here. Jose DePaula. He's got a hitter's count. Could be another changeup breaking ball slider on the inside here. And he throws them. Yeah, right there. Good job. And there's two down. All right, last potential, last batter of the game, Larry Lorenzo, I think. Lorenzo, L-I-R-A-N-Z-O, Lorenzo here. And we have flying, squishy baseballs coming down. And uh, yeah, I can't even get one of those. Oh! We have a pissed off fan as she just got nailed in the head.
Apparently, uh, she's not happy. You know it didn't hurt, but, you know, she's still not happy. She can't believe somebody hit her in the head. She's turning and giving the evil eye to people. And, yeah, she's like, I'm going to say something to the security, to the game officials for hitting me in the back of the head like that. So, there you go. Oh! 100 mile per hour. They're still looking, they're still eyeing. I don't know, they look like they're gonna complain. Oh, strike three, and the storm win! Oh, but we got a game here, we got a game. Let's see if we can go over here, try to get a ball here. I'm gonna see if I can get a ball. Let's see if I can get a ball. Let's see if I go over here and get a ball. Try and see if I can get a ball. Grandpa! Grandpa! Can I have a baseball, please? Can I have a baseball, please? Can I have a baseball, please? Oh, shoot! Can I have the baseball, please? Can I have the baseball, please? Right here, please. Can I have a baseball, please? Oh, thank you. All right, I got a baseball. They gave it to the little guy, and the little guy gave it to me. So I, 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 I was successful. Storm, great game, great comeback. It was a fun right, game. I'd have to say it was a pretty good game. The Storm not only came back to win, I got a baseball from one of the players uh, with a little assist from one of the little guys there at the front. But super excited that I actually was able to achieve the mission of the game. Uh, a little disappointed that, what, what was it? Uh, Oh man, I already forgot his name got thrown out at the number five prospects there uh, for Padres got thrown out of the game. Arguing balls and strikes there in the Vala, Vala, I believe it was. Uh, Zavala, Zavala, Sammy Zavala there. Arguing balls and strikes. Uh, and the about the, what was it, bottom third inning. So disappointed about that. But what are you gonna do? I uh, hope you guys enjoy this uh, different type version of my stadium videos. It's just, I've already been to, the Lake Elsinore St Storm Stadium, and so I've already done videos. So still want to bring you along with me on the journey. So we do some vlogging and try to get some balls and have some fun. All right, you guys, Sir Dude GPAC. Hope you enjoyed the game. Don't forget to subscribe, hit your notifications. I'll see you in the next vlog. Talk to you guys later. Bye.